Let your spirit grow wings and fly And fly with me And fly with me Hi out there in the YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing like a before and after makeup transformation. Okay, so this is me like completely normal. Okay, me like completely normal. So as proof of that, I got some some tissue paper. Can you hear the scrubbing action? Okay, we got nothing. Okay, so, ow, I like friction burn. I did that a little much there, but. Okay, my point of this video though is a message because I'm going to show the transformation but I wanted to kind of point out some kind of, I don't know, some funny ha-has, some uh, strangeness of our society and that is that with the makeup industry, like how that is so feminine. However, a lot of the traits, like for example, like with females and having long eyelashes, they're actually doing that to imitate males. Like I, I don't got no pretty long eyelashes, like mine are fairly normal and kind of stubby. But most guys on average do actually have longer eyelashes than females. And that's just because of our testosterone, like we produce more hair. Okay, and that, the hair, that equals long, beautiful eyelashes. And so women, and men, but mainly women, I would say, um, will glue the uh, prosthetic extension so that they appear to have the long lashes. Well, the whole aspect of it being a masculine or feminine topic, I want to tell you a little story. I'm going to censor it a little bit just because I people's identity. Um, I'll just use first name. I think that's uh, like, like we were friends, so it wasn't like a big deal. But he's like, yeah, why would, you, why do you think that? And I'm like, well, you're all decked out in makeup and stuff. That's pretty much what I told him, like when we talked, and. And he's straight, like 100%, and uh, has a child, actually. Like, congratulations to him and his family. I think that's awesome. Um, but back in the day, like, that was really, like, you know, that shows how confident he was. And that's why in this video, I wanted to show you, like, the before and the after. So this is me, like, completely normal, you know. Because sometimes I will use uh, this Dream Matte Mousse. Uh, it's like a... It's foundation. I don't know. I'm not like I don't, I'm not like a makeup expert by any means at all. Don't really know much about it, like compared to the people on YouTube that do that kind of stuff. They're all like, they got all their brushes. And I use my finger. Like I don't. None of this will be applied via brush. Um, but yeah, I find I can. This this works really well. So anyone out there that uh, that uses this product shout out and like give me thumbs up and like give me thoughts like on, on this like if you have any other products that are are similar in consistency because I've been having a hard time finding ones that are kind of like it you know like they just go on like nothing and have really good pigmentation so you know covering like marks and I don't know beauty marks and whatever all that kind of fun stuff that goes on and um once in a blue moon, I will use a, uh... <laughs> it's actually funny, I never, I never read the label before. My mom gave this to me, like, years, years ago. Like, probably like 10 years ago. And look how much of the pencils left. Like, that's how I don't use it that often. Like, but I have used it occasionally in videos. So if, if any, if you've noticed in any of my videos, my eyebrows look extra bushy and thick. I might have used this. And um, the new product that I kind of wanted to test out in this is um, like it's like the salmon under eye corrector and I've never used it before like it's still in the packaging we just got it on our trip went to uh, Winnipeg and we did some Christmas shopping and uh, got this too 
and it's really cool and I wanted to test it out to compare it and see what difference it makes and also to you know have a before and after of me like right now and then after when I do it so we can actually have like a picture side by side of before and after just to see how dramatic or how different it is because ultimately I, I really want the message to be brought home that like vanity and all that like are women the only ones that are vain? Like, men are obviously uh, gonna have some vanity too, right? And like, not to say it's a good thing, but I mean, the marketing industry would, they got just for men hair care, like beard dye, all this kind of stuff. And they gotta call it just for men, just to make men feel like comfortable to, they're like, ooh, I'm stepping out of the box into the feminine area. All of that. I think with especially with like transgendered people and like uh, multi-sexual typed people um, like you know 2017 right go with the times I think that it's really important that people respect other people's choices just make your own that that's that's what you're pretty much supposed to do that's why like you can animate your own body not theirs and to impose beliefs or opinions I think you should just lay off like because I was, in a sense, to my friend Andrew, I mentioned earlier, I was being like makeup phobic, like, right? because I always thought it was kind of like, when you're wearing freaking you know, eyelash extensions and stuff. <sighs> Got mad at me, because I thought he was gay, right? Like, and, you know, but that's kind of stupid, like, you can see the root of where that occurred through the media and just our upbringing, where it's a cultural thing, where there have been native people, you know, as long as I don't say the whole name, it doesn't matter. Um, and props to the person I'm talking to, because long time no see, and I'll, I'll do a shout out. Like, this is a story, so I'll let them know I'm doing this video. And, um, yeah, so he, at our work, would, would wear like eyeliner and uh, very confident, more confident than I was in like wearing makeup. And, so I kind of assumed he was gay too, cause like I am gay. And he would actually wear like extensions and stuff, like very like, um, bam, like you know what I mean? Like very noticeable, bam, bam, like you know what I mean? Like very noticeable. And like even when I would wear makeup, I would really try to like hide the fact that it's makeup. Like I just try to go all natural, like in my, in my look. And he was very like, uh, not that way. I mean, like, very, very bam, bam. Like, uh, who's that artist? Uh, I'll insert picture. And uh, everyone knows him. So, like, you know, singer, pop star. And uh, yeah, so maybe that's where he got some of his confidence from. But And he took offense, because I remember like hitting on him one time, and he's like, yo, yo, I'm not. put face paint on and they're, they've been allowed to accentuate, accentuate their beauty and it's not a bad thing like I mean even with the birds like all birds okay the peacock you know I wanna see a peacock and then there's a peacock coming like that like that's a male like females look like this They're brown and plain, okay? That's just how it goes. Like, I mean, even in, in like cats, lions, you know? Who's got the lion mane? The males, like. But usually it's because the females are the ones that are the ones that have the, have the eye. They even have better, and this is true, you can Google it, better color receptors. Uh, they have more cones, cones are, are Cones are what are the color receptors. Rods are for black and white, or like, uh, not a color spectrum, but just for intensity. And uh, 
yeah, females of not just birds, but in humans as well, have a better color spectrum than guys do. So, I mean, even if, if, if so, to all you guys out there that do wear makeup, girls might notice. Even though you think you did, you blended it perfectly. Girls can see better, so that's the, they have better blending abilities. <laughs> that's uh, that's enough science for today, and let's get to the let's get to the the goop. I have this Ultra Lift Transformer, and it's uh, I kind of use it as a primer or base. I don't know. I don't really like to get all technical about it. It's actually really cool because it's like a sun lotion. Like, look at that. It's white. Looks like sun, sun tan lotion. Like, right? And look. But y'all, y'all see. Watch what happened. See? Boom. Did you see that? It like changed color. It's got like chameleon action going on. And this is like basically like a lotion. It actually says it's good for like anti-aging and wrinkles and age spots and all that. And you know, I'm going on 30, if you didn't know that. So uh, why not, I figure. Oh, I dropped it. All's good, cut. But yeah, I basically use that like a cream or like a lotion. Because it's pretty much transparent, but it does take on, like, the color. Um, it doesn't really mimic perfectly like the packaging says. Like, I tried it with Tristan, and it turns it turns the same color. It's just that it's kind of opaque, so you can see your own pigment through it, so it tends to blend in fairly well. And it's really kind of, kind of, a little bit oily, so it's like a moisturizer, which makes for uh, putting on uh, the other products a lot easier because then it uh, has more of a moisturized surface to be applied to. Moisturized surface to be applied to. So now I'm going to open the new, the new product, the, the color corrector. And let's see, it has a little sponge thing. I'm a, I'm a little wary of that, but we'll test it out. And we'll be able to see. I, want, I, I was curious to see, like, that's kind of why I wanted to do the video. Like, and for you too, but I, I want to see, like, does it really work that well? I'm like, just like in the mirror sometimes you're like, hmm. But, let's see if it actually makes a, a noticeable difference. I'm, tr I'm trying, okay. <laughs> it says, this color correcting serum instantly provides weightless color correction of any skin color concern. Packaging in a tube of a cushion tip. No additional tools are needed. Simply blend the color corrector into the skin using the cushion. Target the corrector to the major skin of concern in one simple step by balancing out the individual skin discoloration. Apply this peach color corrector to create brightness on any dull patch of skin. Once blended, follow with any shade of blah 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 of other other makeup, or, which I'll use my normal one after. Let's see. Um, don't really. Okay, so this part turns. I figured it out with no instructions, okay? Because there's like an on and an off. And then I'm assuming you squeeze it. I'm just gonna put the product into this sponge. Oh, it's working. See, look. There we go, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there so I don't waste it. And we'll test it out. There we go with the sponge. It's beautiful. <laughs> now, it's out of any area of concern. So, like, I would be concerned that this might be too light. So I would want to kind of, you know, have it elsewhere, <laughs> just so there's some, some, some consistency. Oh yeah, that's that's beauty. Right? <laughs> okay, so obviously we need to blend this stuff out. Right? See. 
See, you don't need no fancy $20 brush, okay? You can use your finger and like... And like, look, you got five, five different kinds of brushes, like... I mean, for all those people that are like, well, you can't use it according and you can't be as specific. Well, I don't like to do, like, I find when people are doing like 30 things to their face and they're like, now I use some bronzer and a little bit of highlighter. I'm going for a natural look. Like, I don't really want people to be able to notice when it's done. Like, I don't want to be looking all tranny. Like, I mean, although I'm completely okay with that, to love to all the Chinese and the, and the metrosexuals and the hermaphrodites, everybody, love. That's not what I'm going for. Like, I don't want people to think that, that I have both going on. I don't know, like, you know, like, so. It's a very prejudiced world in some places, so. And there's a big difference in some to some people's minds to so looking like healthy and healthy, healthy and happy and having glow, to like having like eyelash extensions and blush and lipstick. Like that's not what I'm going for. I'm just going for, you know, trying to look a little bit refreshed, you know. So okay, <laughs> I went a little insane with the dabber. Uh, so I'm just gonna reapply a little bit of that under here still. Uh, still looked a little blur. And blend, blending. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Dream Matte because that's the one I almost always use. And this this under eye corrector. Um, I think isn't like I'm I'm sandy beige. That's the color that suits me. I'll do like a really like intense streak. So hopefully you can see the color difference. A little bit more beige, like so. Um, that will make me look more natural. And I won't put apply it everywhere. I just tend to do it like over the main. You know, you want to keep some highlight on the cheekbone area and like this area. So I just kind of make like a whoop, like a sweeping motion, and then maybe put a little bit on like the upper forehead and just around the edges. But you still want like your forehead to be lighter, like it adds dimension by doing that. So like when people are using all these contour products and adding contour, you can just use even like your natural skin has its own color dimension and if you're applying different makeups just apply them in the right order the, the right order and that will um, you know give you dimension without having to like stencil on a face so and then I'll just do a little bit of the eyeliner which as you can tell it's dull as crap right now but uh, it'll still work okay uh, we'll, we'll deal and excuse because I don't have a mirror I'm using the camera uh, but see what I mean, like, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but then it's like you can see it, like, cause I find in real life you can see my eyebrows more than kind of like on camera, so sometimes I'll do this. Most of the time not, but um, you might be able to tell if you go through some of my old videos. But bam okay, so then I just kind of brush it all out, take some off kind of in a sense, especially around this upper part, because I find in doing so, it makes it look a lot natural, because like it kind of brings out the, you know, like the discoloration or like the bags that like exist down here, like it's still up there. But like people are adding like eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff to make it look darker. Just take off some of the light stuff that like show your skin, like, you know, you don't need to pile more on top, is my point. Sometimes less is more. So, now we have the after. <laughs> Yeah, so 
Hope you enjoyed my uh, my little story there, and uh, shout out to Andrew, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit the little bell, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Leave comments for maybe like future videos if you want, or uh, you know, just any food for thought would be cool, but whatever. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>